I feel like Michael Jackson on stage. It makes me feel good. It's, it just gets me. It just captures me. The band is more than just a hobby or just a class to take while they're in school. It is who they are. Um, music inspires me because it touches my heart, it touches my soul, and it's involved in everything that we do. And also, it's a universal language, so you can communicate with people all over the world just through music. Something fun in this like you get to be a part of a band without actually having to play an instrument, <laughs> which is kind of hard because like reading music um, and having to memorize everything that they play is, you know, that's a lot. The first Morgan College band consisted of only seven instruments. It was founded by Dean George C. Grant, who purchased a horn and a drum with funds borrowed by the Alumni Association in 1936. Morgan State University is known for its marching machine, the marching band comprising of 150 students. Along with the marching band, there are four other programs. The Sephotic Band, Sephonic Winds, Pep Band, Jazz Ensemble, and Jazz Combo. Mr. Melvin Miles Jr., the current band director, has been directing the band here at Morgan State University for 37 years. I don't know, it's about, it maybe about 70 people, 70, 75 people in the, con in the big concert band. And we usually break that down to a small group, about 40 people and to some of those small groups in that, to play some more challenging literature, uh, some more wind, 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 what we call it wind on something, we call it our symphonic wind. And that's usually a little small group of people that are out of, that come out of the concert band. And uh, we do a few little more challenging uh, selections with that group. And the concert band itself is usually everybody that's on scholarship or students that want to play in the concert band. These members are highly motivated and determined our director, Mr. Malvin Miles Jr., he really makes us understand we have to practice. And it's not just a come, come to practice and just learn. It's more than that. We have people that's in the practice rooms for hours playing because they realize that it's a job and you have to spend hours to get it. In the very beginning, I'm nervous, but once I get out there, get my legs moving, start marching, hear the music, um, I just feel accomplished, like, I just feel good. We practice Monday through Saturday um, in the afternoons through the week and Saturday mornings before games. So, you know, you kind of develop like a family type of feeling amongst people in the band. And I think when I ask students, I really require students to challenge them in lots of ways to, to be good and be good at what they do. Um, and I think they work hard at it. I think when I ask them to do it, they come in, they spend extra time, they do the best that they can, and they work hard. They use the use of instruments as a way of communicating with the world, not only the world, among themselves and with other bands across the country. Travel almost everywhere the football team goes. So when the um, football team played Rutgers, we got to go to Rutgers. Um, we play a and T. we travel down there. Anywhere they go in the MEAC. We got to go to Yale, see in there, um, the music hall, it was really, really nice. Drives, passions, love. The experience. The, the overall, everything you get from being a part of an ensemble, it's just, it's really good. If you join the Morgan State University Band, whatever level you are, if you come in, if you come in and we, one, we're going to ask you and require that you be responsible and be intense. What we always try, what I always try to tell students is that one, if you're in our band program, you will be a better player than you were when you came. And if you inspire them to, to be involved in music and have a really, uh, a lot of growth and a lot of opportunities to play, then this is a really an ensemble for you.